Hey, Brad Johnson here. You know, people always ask me, Brad, how do you afford to travel so much? I just look at them and say, you're cute. I'm an entrepreneur. It's it's just what we do. Today, as you can hear, uh, things are a little different. I'm using my mobile setup because I'm traveling. Because I'm an entrepreneur. But just because I'm trotting the globe doesn't mean I'm going to let you guys, my fans, my family, down. No. Like always, I remain dedicated to bringing you crazy, ridiculous value all the time so that you guys can continue the journey of fixing the mess that is your life. Traveling isn't going to stop that. If it did, <laughs> I'd hardly ever put a podcast out. Because I travel a lot. Because I'm an entrepreneur. Okay, so today we're building off the interview we did last week with Matthew Torrance, talking focus, time management. I get questions about this all the time, so I thought I'd give you guys an action-packed episode that you can implement right now to get your mess of a life back on track. Uh, you'll notice the format is going to be a little bit different. Uh, my assistant to the host is not here, but you know me, I've got this. So let's get into the show. Hit it, Virtual James. The Brad Johnson Show. Johnson Show. I'm Brad Johnson, and I'm turning losers like you into winners like me. The Brad Johnson Show, with your host, Brad Johnson. Get ready to start winning. And now your host, Brad Johnson. Hey, I'm your host, Brad Johnson. Not here today, assistant to the host, uh, James Kirkland, because this is the mobile show, and I'm flying solo. But that's okay, because I am, like, a solo entrepreneur, a solopreneur. And that's, I'm, I'm good with that. I can do it because I know how to do all these things because I've had to do them all in the past. So I've gotten really good at everything. Welcome to the Brad Johnson Show, where we turn losers like you into winners like me. So glad to have you here, pouring my voice into your brain cavity. And what a silky smooth voice it is, if I do say so myself. Uh, today, we're talking about focus, how to hone in, get stuff done, make it happen. This episode is going to change your life. But I guess that's really nothing new because, let's face it, all of my episodes change your life. So like I mentioned, I'm traveling, and I know what you're going to ask, and the answer is no. I'm not taking my private jet today. I know, <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but I decided to fly commercial this time. You see, I like staying connected to normal people. Well, that and the jet is in the shop. But still, you see a different world as you sit in first class and watch the rank and file walk by you. It really... You know, it makes me grateful. It makes me appreciate what I have and, and that I'm not them. I'm me. A winner. Um, anyway, the reason I'm traveling today is because I'm headed to meet with a business coach who needs me to help them coach businesses. Now, you may be saying, wait, Brad, you're not a business coach. And you would be pretty much wrong, but kind of right technically. But, but I always say, you don't need to be a coach to coach. Instead, you just need to know how to tell people what they're doing wrong. And that is something I am very good at. On this show, I help you salvage the wreckage that is your life through my tried and true answers that are guaranteed to change your life, maybe even for the better. Okay, so back to our subject at hand, focused. How do you do it? We'll, uh, we'll get to that right after a word from our sponsor. So since uh, James is not here today, um, I'm going to be doing the read. So um, I, it's actually going to be costing our sponsor more because when I do the read, my time is more valuable than his. Um, so it's, it's going to cost them a little bit more. So really, you know, take a minute and support this sponsor because they're going to need it. All right, here we go. That, okay, if you're ready for how a pro reads an ad, like, get ready because a pro is about to read an ad. Okay, this is why it costs more. <clears throat> if you are an entrepreneur, you don't have time to waste. Every minute is precious. Every second you're not working is wasted. Every moment you're not hitting it hard is money down the drain. One of the biggest time wasters is trying to figure out how to keep all your devices charged and operating at peak potential when you're on the go. Dealing with messy cords, trying to find outlets, lugging around ugly power packs. Who's got time for that? It's time for a change. It's time for Take Charge. Introducing Take Charge, the way smart entrepreneurs keep charged up. Take Charge is the revolution of the power industry, the disruptor of yesterday changing today and tomorrow. Take Charge is the future of batteries and keeping going. Take Charge is the Uber of battery power for your devices. Here's how it works. Download the Take Charge app. Then next time you're running low on battery, just push the red battery button on the app. Within an hour, one of the hundreds of committed Take Charge service people will appear. We call them chargers. 
Your personal charger will plug your device into their patented portable power stations and will follow you around until your device is charged or until you tell them to go away. Entrepreneurs are always on the go, always moving. Shouldn't your power move with you? It's time to take charge. Get the app today and start taking charge of your power. Okay, that, that was a good read. I'm just going to say that was a really good read. So, all right. Like I said, not doing the usual format today. It's just you and me, my buttery voice. And we're talking focus. So focus your brain on my voice as it pours into your brain cavity. It's essential for every entrepreneur to be able to focus, but not just on one thing. You have to focus on many things at the same time. Today, I'm going to lay out some tips that will help you take your focus game to the next level and start winning as you focus on many things simultaneously, stretching your brains to new heights you didn't even know it could reach. Okay, so I get this all the time. Brad, how do you focus? Well, the first step is decide fast. That's an acronym. Because entrepreneurs use acronyms because it saves time because you don't have to say all the words. So it's, it's, it's increasing focus and efficiency and effectiveness all at the same time. So this acronym FAST, it means freaking amazing speed of thought, okay? And the concept is, don't think about it. I don't know about you, but my gut is like always right. My first thought basically works, okay? So when you think about things, you waste time. Pick something and make it happen, okay? Think about it. If i just been planning and plan, oh, hey, hey, sir. Uh, yeah, yep, just recording a podcast. Yep, it's, um, you know, uh, well, yes, it's the Brad John, yeah, Brad Johnson show. Yeah, you, you should subscribe. Okay, um, what was I saying? Um, oh, yes, it, I think about it. If I'd just been planning and planning on doing this podcast, how many lives would remain unchanged today? You're welcome, by the way. You can't just think about what the world wants. You have to just do it. I'm talking massive action. In your case, it may be imperfect action. That's not the case for me, but do what you can. Okay, so start with big decisions. When you're trying to figure out who to marry, make the decision fast. When you're trying to decide whether to adopt a pet, make a fast decision. Practice, practice, practice. Okay, so it's, it's like a muscle. And I know a lot about muscles because I have a lot of them. So you'll see uh, your ability develop as you use this, this fast technique. When you're trying to decide to buy a house or a car, forget the research, okay? Just decide fast. Go with your gut. The more you do it, the better you'll become. And when you use it on big decisions, you'll find the risk factor is so high that you'll have that much more motivation to get it right. Okay, so step one, let's review here. Decide fast, okay? It's an acronym because those save time, all right? So the the next step to find focus is remember that it's all mental. Find your moment of winning. Okay, so it's all about your mindset and what you're thinking. If you have a, a, an unfocused mindset, then that is going to result in unfocused action. So find your... Mo- what? No. Okay. No, I'm recording a podcast, man. We're in an airport. Okay, you can just go sleep somewhere else. I don't care. I have a podcast to... Fine, I'll move. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, I just gotta get my bag here. Uh, okay, so, uh, you know what? So, sorry. Okay, so, um, <laughs> that was weird. Okay, um, we're back. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, you know, as, as a professional and an entrepreneur and somebody who's always winning, like, you have to adjust and you can't just, um, uh, uh, you can't expect things to go smoothly all the time, and they don't. So you just have to roll with it and and be able to um, to adapt. And that's what I do because I am an entrepreneur and I'm a, and I am a winner. Okay. So that lady was trying to nap. Just you know, I, I'm a nice guy. Okay? I really am. But there are some times where you just want to punch somebody in the teeth. I, I mean, okay. Anyway, all right. So where was I? Okay, we were talking about focus and, and staying focused. Um, and that had to do, okay, we, so we talked about, um, uh, sorry, just having a hard time uh, focusing here. Um, so, uh, it was, um, we were talking about, uh, oh, uh, yes, uh, fast, make fast decisions. Okay. Then it's all mental. Okay. So it's all mental. Find your moment of winning. Okay. So uh, your, the way your brain works, it's like squishy and you can squish different things into it depending on what you need to do. So what you need to do is find your moment of winning. Okay, find that moment. Um, I call it the winner's moment. I know, it's, it's, it's a good name. This is the time in your life where you just nailed it. You totally crushed it. Winning went to the next level in this moment. 
So what is that for you? Okay, so once you find that, now it, it may be, for most of you, this shouldn't be a, a hard thing to find, but I mean, if you're like me, which, which isn't likely, you'll find this is a very hard exercise to do because how do I choose one moment? I don't know. So honestly, when I do this step, it takes me a while, but don't worry, it shouldn't take you long. Okay, so it's all mental. Once you've found that moment of winning, you can put yourself in that moment. And that ties right into the next step of focus. It's putting yourself in the right environment. If you're trying to focus and, you know, it's super quiet, like your brain is just going crazy, that is no place to focus, okay? So if, you're, if your environment isn't set up for multitasking focus, then you're setting yourself up for failure. So what environment works for you, okay? So my environment has to do with, uh, it has to be my desk and my chair but it has to be my adjustable chair because I sit and squat and stand at my desk, okay? So, and then it depends if I'm in the pool, then I have my Aqua Desk 3000 because that's what real entrepreneurs have, okay? Or if I'm, you know, driving one of my Lambos or my, uh, my Camaro, like whatever it is, that place helps me focus because there's a lot of things going on. I keep loud music going and then usually I'm texting a couple people at the same time. So you want that environment um, all to be just exactly. And, you know, if somebody asked me like, well, who are you texting? Well, I'd say, well, I could tell you and you'd know their name, but... <laughs> I don't, you know, I just don't give away personal stuff like that, okay? So don't ask. All right, so the next step is don't plan. And th there's an old saying, you know, old people, it seems like they were smarter than us. Well, I mean, not smarter than me, but there's always old sayings. So the new sayings, unless they're from me, generally speaking, you're not looking at a lot of value here, okay? But this old saying, it, it goes like this. If you plan a plan, you plan to fail. So basically what that means, uh, I just want to interpret that for you. It's pretty deep. Don't do it. Don't plan. This podcast, I mean, I didn't think about what I was going to say. I'm busy. But my brain is just so, it's, my brain is so fertile, okay, that it didn't matter. You guys are getting value bombs like crazy, right? <laughs> Hashtag value bomb. Yeah, I like that. Hashtag this is so good. All right, so next step, multitask. Okay, we already kind of touched on this, but I really want to hit this home. Some people will talk about time blocking or other such nonsense. Don't be fooled, okay? You guys are smarter than that, I hope. The more things your brain is doing, the more stretched it is, and the more it will grow. Remember how I said that your brain is squishy? If you stretch it out, then um, it, it gets, you know, stretched, and then um, that makes it stronger because, you know, it's... Um, and let's face it. You guys need your brain stretched. So how many things can you do at once? This may seem counterintuitive, but it will increase your focus. I mean, my record is probably somewhere in the 20s, if not 30s, okay, as far as things that I'm doing all one time to keep my brain focused. Now, for instance, right now, I'm not just recording the podcast. No, I'm eating a bomb smoothie that's full of vitamins and junk to make my brain better. I'm researching the next mod that I'm going to do on my classic Camaro. I'm assigning some new tasks to my VA. I'm people watching, and I'm playing Candy Crush. So if you want focus and you want to get things done, multitask. Next step, procrastinate, okay? Schedule fun first, then get stuff done at the last minute. You know what they say, if, it, if you only have a second, it only takes a second. So literally, if you need to get your work done in a second, you will get it done. That's just how it works. Like things um, expand to the amount of time that you give them. So make it squished, okay? Not like your brain, because you're stretching your brain. Squish the time, stretch your brain, okay? Can you guys remember that? Okay, okay, all right. So to recap, decide fast. Remember that stands for Freaking Amazing Speed of Thought. It's an acronym to speed things up, okay? So find your winner's moment. Get in that moment and let it just like move your brain. And right, and then and there's the right environment. You have to have all those things going around, around, around you. You have to have all those things going on around you so that you can have the right environment for focus. And then don't plan, okay? Just take the time to procrastinate and you will get it done, okay? This is how you focus. This is how winners focus. Hashtag winner focus. And that is also hashtag how Brad Johnson focuses, okay? That may be a long hashtag, but it gets the point across, right? Okay, so... Typically, normally, we do the sound of my social footprint now, but since I don't have the assistance of the host with me, we'll pick up on your tweets next time, but keep sending them in, and remember, 
the best way to get your question answered is to leave an iTunes review. Now, you can do that. It's super simple. We've been putting the link out on our social media. So check out Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and that's all, you know, there. Um, so at Brad Johnson Show, all over the place, all over the world of the Internet and the universe and the galaxy that is the Internet. It's a beautiful thing that we can be so connected. And remember, the best way to connect is through that iTunes review. We'll be sure to see it. So I can't leave you, though, even though James isn't here, I cannot leave you without the quote of the day. It goes like this. If you can dream it, I've probably already achieved it. And that was by, uh, oh, <laughs> that's by me. Thanks for listening, people. Remember to share the podcast if you got some value, which I know you did, because after all, I'm the host. Because this is The Brad Johnson Show. And because I am Brad Johnson. I've got to go get on my plane, first class, of course. I'll talk to you guys next time. Ciao. Thanks for listening to The Brad Johnson Show, where every episode we bring you tips, tricks, interviews, advice, and answers to fix the mess that is your life while helping you stop being a loser and start winning in business, health, and your personal life. Show us your face, tweet us your tweets, and insta your grams at Brad Johnson Show. The Brad Johnson Show. Winners only.